Hey guys, it's Kelly. Um, it's Sunday. I'm pretty bored. Just watched a movie with the um, the boyfriend, and he's gone to bed because he leaves for work very early in the morning. Um, so I thought I'd do another tutorial. Um, this is one of my favorite looks. Um, it's a gold and purple, kind of like eggplant kind of color. Um, so like normal, I already have all my foundation, um, contour, highlight, powder, all that stuff. My eyebrows are done. Guys, my eyebrows are so horrible right now. I haven't had them waxed in like a month and they look so nasty. But anyways, I have pencil on them to kind of make them look a little more normal. Okay, so first thing. Rubenesque all over our island. Again, you can apply it with your finger or your brush, whatever you feel comfortable with. Perfect. Okay, and then we're taking rose gold which is a pro pigment. The reason I bought this is Leisha X Sparkage. I saw her use it in a video and I was like freaking in love. Like I love the color. I called Mac right away, ordered it, and I was not disappointed. So since I've got it, I use it quite a bit. So thanks Leisha if you're watching. So we're applying the sweat, so take your mixing medium, visine, whatever you use, mix it all up, and apply that all the way up into your crease. Okay, so like that. This is a gorgeous color, guys, and it works really well because it's a rose gold, so it's got like a pinky kind of undertone in it. It works very well with purples, with pinks, with um, the regular pigment rose. Um, it, it's very versatile. You can pretty much use it. It looks awesome with teal. Okay, so that's how it should look. It's kind of hard to see on my camera a little bit. That's a little better. Yeah, so it's right up to my crease. I'm just kind of... My mom's picking me up. Like, I told her, like, pick me up three... Like, seriously, I don't think I can have enough of these brushes. Um, the low Cornell. So, hopefully I'm going to get, like, another three or four. So I don't have to use the exact same brush because it kind of sucks to clean it in the middle of the tutorial. Okay, next color, Nocturnal. We're going to apply that in our crease and our outer corner as well. And these two colors together, I don't know what it, I don't know what it is about it, but I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, just like that. Doesn't matter that it's not blended. We're gonna do that in a minute. So take your shader brush, just kind of work out the line at the top. Blend it slightly. The good thing with these two colors is that it looks unblended there, but there's, I don't know what it is, it, there's like a smooth transition. Like when you actually look in the mirror, you can't really tell where one color begins and the other one ends. 
again on my camera, my camera sucks, so it looks like it's like a really huge defined crease, but it's not. So get that the way you want it. I'm just going to put a little more right there. There, that looks about even. Highlight color, I'm using my Revlon Diamond Dust in Champagne Buzz. And I'm going to use my Annabelle brush. I think I really want rice paper, guys. Because I don't have... I did have a really good highlight color, and I lost... I lost it. It was a Bonnie Bell like, quad. Not really a quad, but it had like... Um, it had four eyeshadows, but it wasn't like your contemporary quad. Um, and I love it, and it applied really well. It stayed on like excellent. 